Steve Sarver, owner and CEO of the SF Soup Company and Lena and Leaf, talks about his experiences in the restaurant industry and what it takes to become a successful entrepreneur. Soup at most restaurants is an afterthought. It's a side dish. It's not really um, what people go to a restaurant for. And we thought, what if we made soup the reason to show up, the reason to come? And San Francisco made a lot of sense because it's cold in the summer, it's cold in the winter, and just great soup weather all year round. And, and the other thing about uh, soup being a focus is uh, you can, it's really easy to change the menu. When COVID hit, it hit really hard and really fast. We weren't sure what we could do to keep the business operating. But one idea that we had was if our customers weren't going to come to San Francisco or to Oakland or even to SFO to, to visit our restaurants, maybe we could go to them. So we had a pretty good brand presence. So we thought, let's bring the food to them. And we created a neighborhood pickup program. Um, the concept is you order online ahead of time and we bring our truck down the peninsula and we stop in Burlingame, San Carlos, Palo Alto and Los Altos. And we are, our truck is at a specific location for about a half hour to an hour. And you pick up the food right from the truck um, that you had ordered online previously. And people really loved it. Um, and that's, that was, that's been one of the main things that sustained us over the past, you know, year plus that we've been doing this. Um, so that was one major pivot, um, for, um, that we had to do for COVID and it's not near the volume that we had, um, from all of our restaurants prior, but it's still nice income to come in and we're entrepreneurs and we have to get creative and do whatever it takes to make money. And making a little money is better than making no money. And also we're keeping a lot of people employed through this as well. But right now, what we're working on is, you know, making sure that we're, our um, digital presence is as strong as possible. So we're working on our online ordering uh, menu. We're working on our, our website. We're working on nutrition calculators, things like that. So get people the information they're looking for. I mean, one of the things that's happened over the 20 plus years that we've been in business is it used to be really simple. You offered a simple menu, people came up, they paid for it in cash, and you were good at the end of the day. Now, in order to be competitive, you have to meet each person where they want to be met. So some people are gonna to wanna to order online, some are gonna to wanna to order in the store, some are gonna want delivery, some are gonna want pickup. Um, some people care about nutrition, some don't. So it's really become very fragmented in the things that people want, but it's hard to be successful right now if you can't meet each person where they want to be met and give them that information that they want. And that's one thing that we've learned and where we're trying to um, make sure that we're competitive right now. I think any entrepreneur needs to love what they're doing and needs to bring something new to the table. Um, it's going to be hard in any business for someone to start a business and be successful if they're not bringing something new to their customers, new to the consumers, something that they're not getting elsewhere. Like why come to this business? Why should this business exist? And it's real important to have a passion for what you're doing and for your, your, your customers to know that you're there because you love what you're doing and you're bringing them something that's different and better than where they could find somewhere else. Reporting for Scott Center News, I'm Josh Barty.